Hi there, it's me Danesh. Today we are going to discuss about what are the major static equipments in oil and gas petrochemical industry. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, before that, what is a static equipment? Yes, a static equipment is the equipments which contain fluids such as gas or liquids but it don't have any rotating parts. This is all the internal and external components are stationary. There is no any moving or rotating parts. This is called static equipment. Examples of uh, static equipment, pressure vessels, heat exchangers, columns and storage tank. These are many uh, static equipment, but we are in this video we are discussing only few important items. Okay, now we can go detail by detail. Now let's see what are the parts of a static equipment. Here you can see the main portion is shell. This end is head. This is head. These are nozzles. These are the supports. In these supports, one may be sliding, one may be fixed. This is a, is a normal. Uh, now we can uh, classify based on the head based on the head how we can classify further here as you can see the shape is a hemispherical shape this a ellipsoidal shape this compared to this this is comparatively less arc here is half round and the third one is conical head and here is flange type here will be connected with the boards these are the based on the head now we can see based on the support first one is saddle type the same which we have shown here two saddles will be here for supporting next one is leg type this will be usually the vertical type leg type the third is skid type as the name indicate here this is a part here is a anchor balls will be installed to the foundation here is the foundation or structure this here in this case this area will be fixed on the foundation here will be place this area on the foundations so these are the basic types this is a uh, many types but we are considering only the major things so these are the basic type of pressure vessels okay now let's see what are the heat exchangers first one is two band bundle type in two band bundle type there is three subdivisions straight tubes as the name indicates the tubes are straight the cooling liquids is coming from here passing through all these tubes and going out the same way other fl uh, fluids will come enter from here from here and going out second is bender tubes the bender tubes this portion will be this is separated once it is centered from here this will be transferred and it will be transferred like this and it will be go out in the meantime the cooling the other uh, exchange liquids will be either liquids or uh, gas it will be entered from here and going out that is a uh, kettle type other one is uh, a double pipe this is a simple uh, simple items this uh, one item one pipe is going inside and outside there is some bigger size this is a uh, other second uh, primary fluids is going through this red pipe secondary fluids is going through this green and uh, fourth is plate type exchanges as you can see that this is these are the nozzles uh, this uh, one portion is circulating this uh, flow in this type from entering from here going out another other time the same time this other side this is going coming to out okay now we can uh, see columns columns are the vertical equipment usually this is using for separating the liquids liquid and gas combinations here as you can see there is a distributor distribution header here even here there is uh, two distribution headers this uh, initial product will be applied over here it will be splashing over this area and it will be separated by the trays and demisters 
based on the uh, tray and it, this is a different kind of trays is, uh, are coming inside that is tray valves are coming so based on that based on the process it will be separate the fluids in different stages so it will be collected from the different nozzles from the different locations and uh, other components are the uh, slide glass for for the getting the visual inside and here the level transmitter to verify the level of the contents and nozzles 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 these are the nozzles these are the cable uh, uh, trays and the distribution headers nozzles this is support for the platform or accessories this, this is a skid supporting here this is a resting area on the foundation or structure and uh, this is a, a total uh, columns is a typical columns and this is a uh, only the sample because the based on the process it will be different many kind different kind of uh, columns okay now let's see the storage tank storage tank uh, this uh, international standard is a uh, api 650 and uh, the tanks have major five parts the first one is annual plate it's coming the bottom second is the bottom plate this is the bottom plate this one this is the bottom plate this is uh, joining by many plates together and we will be do the building at the field and the third is shell sorry third is some pit it's collecting the water from the bottom this is the purpose for the maintenance we need to drain out all these uh, liquids from the inside so this is some pit for collecting all the liquids for this shell the shell we will be uh, make the curved shape plate will be bent by the bending machine and will be installed in the field one by one and we will do the welding at the field this is the roof uh, different kind of roof design this uh, fixed roof and floating roof the floating roof the roof will be move and this is the manway the nozzles nozzles uh, i also have some uh, level gauge or level indicator level transmitter for identification of the level of the liquid and these are the major components of the storage tank it's only roughly i am telling about these kind of things but uh, this have more details i'm not able to explain all the things in the short videos and i hope you got this information clear okay now we have discussed this uh, important study equipments i hope you guys enjoyed the video so now this is the time for supporting me i think you know that like share and subscribe right now okay thank you for watching have a nice day